1974, an organization called JCIH, the Joint Committee of, Inher of Infant Hearing, started a program and put into action <clears throat> for all infants to be screened at birth to um, determine either hearing loss or impairments. There are many factors that can determine and aid in determining the hearing loss or impairments, such as congenital perinatal infection as rubella and other non-bacterial fetal infection like cytomegalovirus and herpes, cranial facial anomalies, birth weight less than 1,500 gram, grams, and a bilirubin level greater than 20, <clears throat> to name a few. The list goes on and on and on. You wouldn't think those would have an effect on hearing loss, but it does. And the early hearing detection that they do nowadays catches it at an early, early age. Each facility should abide in the following these regulations to educate staff, family, public, and the public on signs to look out for hearing loss and impairments so that no child gets lost in the system. The early hearing loss is determined by inventions that can be put into action to be able to communicate, for the child to communicate. <clears throat> JCIH and the Joint Committee of an Infant Hearing and AAOO, American Academy of Ophthalmology and Auto Logical, and ASH, American Speech Language Hearing Association, and the CDC, Centers for Disease Control, have all come together and agreed and came up with the interventions of the early detection. Each state has its own individual organization called EDI, e -H -D -I, Early Hearing Detection and Intervention Program. This program helps educate the schools, hospitals, physicians' offices, families, and the public in the early detection. They make sure all facilities follow the JCIH guidelines to ensure total compliance of the federal law. I am going to show you how the system works in detecting hearing loss. This procedure, how the procedure follows a hearing loss if hearing loss is detected, and discuss new policies that are being reviewed and put into play with the new changes. While the infant is in the hospital, it has been determined by the JCIH that the best time to perform the procedure is 12 hours after birth. As long as the test is done before the child is discharged from the hospital. The infant is set up to the Algo 5 newborn hearing screener, which looks like this, it is the top of the line in screening all newborns, okay? The, the infant needs to look like this. It's got sensors. One goes on each ear, and then there's one that goes on the forehead, one that goes on the nap of the neck, and one sensor that goes on the shoulder. <clears throat> now, this machine doesn't determine if there's hearing loss. It only picks up um, brain activity from the uh, brain stem through the audio nerve. It sends sound waves through the hearing, through the ears, that go through to the brain stem and it picks up the um, <clears throat> sound waves as it's shot back to the, to the machine. Hearing loss is determined later as the child gets a little older. <clears throat> Our facility is in the process of reviewing other um, policies to put one into play 
for the facility here in Biden Duplin Hospital, <clears throat> which we currently do not have one, so that all the employees are aware of all the changes and um, are doing the procedure the same way, so that um, so not all of them are coming up with false positives and that we're detecting hearing loss or impairments at an early age. I encourage all staff members and new members to read over the policy so that each one is aware of all the changes. I also suggest that the best time for screening the infants is when the infant has to come back into the nursery for their bilirubin test and the O2 oxygen sensor done at 24 to 27 years of age, 24 hours of age so that it's not forgot but not done too early but also following the compliance of the federal law. Our hospital from the past 10 years has screened 6,238 babies. Out of that 6,000 babies only one baby has completely hearing loss and that was from our finding it from our screening that we do at the hospital. <clears throat> we have upgraded to a newer machine which picks it up even better. I know change is not everybody's liking for change, but we need to follow all the recommendations and the guidelines that are set in play by the JCIH. It, only ben it not only benefits the babies, but it also benefits um, detecting hearing loss <clears throat> at an early age. If a child is determined to have hearing loss or impairments, the baby is referred to diagnostics, which is the about the same test, but the only difference is, is there's a little tube they put in the ear, that way that gives them a visual, eye, a visual on what they're looking at to making sure that um, the infant make sure what they're looking at <clears throat> and that the ear is working properly so that there's no abnormalities of the hearing of the ear canal itself. <clears throat> 